I built a dividend yield calculator. So we've got that here and I've put a link to this dividend yield calculator in the description. So you can go to this dividend yield calculator, anyone can view it. And what you'll be able to see if I zoom out, what you can see is how much dilution, uh, what dilution would affect the 2019 dividend. So the 2019 dividend was actually higher than 500 million and much higher, but the dilution you can see here, 10%, 20%, and it goes all the way up to, it starts going up in 50s, all the way up to 1,000%. You can see what that would have done to the dividend. So if we had 1,000% uh, dilution, the dividend would go down to 4p per share. And so essentially, if you're buying a share at 50p per share, the 2019 dividend would be 7.19%. That's the dividend calculator I built uh, and you can see in these two charts, if you manage to get your average at 3p, some people potentially bought in at 1.8p, and there's no dilution, you would have 1,318% dividend yield uh, if you got back to a 2019 dividend. So that's what quite a few of us are, ho are waiting for. We are waiting for the first dividend payment. Now, I think that uh, being optimistic uh the next dividend won't be till 2024 and it could be much later than that well and as we know dividends there are no obligation to pay a dividend there's it's just because a company has paid a dividend in the past doesn't mean it will do again so again in the future one of the things that you know th those of us following city world particularly like is the fact that mookie the uh, CEO on the board of directors owns a 20% stake. So he's the one with the incentive to actually issue dividends again in the future. And that's why I'm confident if we retain equity, we will be getting them again in the future. Let me just talk you through this a little bit. You can see if your average was at 10p, 20p, 50p. And what I'm thinking about trying to build is a way for you to copy and paste this. So you can copy and paste this, but building one that you can copy and paste and you can put in your average and then you can put in the amount of shares you have and so if there is a 2019 dividend again, uh, you can then see how much you would get of that dividend with different amounts of dilution. Now, one of the things to note because of the what we talked about in last week's live stream is that dilution doesn't just have to be dilution of shares. So what it could mean is that we retain equity, but we lose something like Regal. That is actually, that would still kind of fit under what dilution is. And I've actually built, uh, most of you I think will have seen it. I made a three part series based on a Regal IPO rumor that I talked about in last week's live stream.